What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. You know, it is the beginning of a week, which gets us closer to the weekend, okay? You know, you can't have Friday without going through Monday first. And for me, I am beginning to get really, really excited because... Two weeks and two days from now, we will be probably halfway to Kansas City because we are leaving on Wednesday morning, driving, well, it's 16 hours if we don't stop, but we got to stop. 16 hours to get there, we'll be there uh, early in the morning on Thursday for the NFL draft. I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, see my man Randy Seitz out there, uh, ride up and talk trash with Game Time Brian and David Wiley. And DMB, it's going to be a ball. It's going to be a ball, and we're going to hopefully bring you draft coverage like nobody else's business. And, of course, going into the draft, you have to figure out, you know, who we're going to go through. And I think this year, more than any other year, the cra it's, it's going to be crazy. I, I can't honestly tell you what is going to happen in this draft. I, you know, I don't think anybody honestly has a clue. You know, you've seen 50 million mock drafts and everything else this team's going to take this guy that guy and everything else you know it's all bullshit that's why i don't waste my time i don't have enough time as it is to do real shit much less mock drafts but be that as it may the cowboys want to draft the best player available now here's the thing that's interesting is we remember when kellen moore first was let go that we heard mike mccarthy basically throwing Kellen Moore under the bus and saying things that, you know, I just want to run the damn ball so we can win. I'm not interested in having the number one offense. And I have to say, Mike McCarthy, unless you are a changed man, that's some bull crap. That is bull crap because that is not in your DNA. I want to take you back, okay? And, and I'll talk about this tonight more at uh, the live stream. But I want to take you back to Mike McCarthy, 2011, with the Green Bay Packers, okay? Now, a lot of y'all will say, well, we got enough receivers. You know, we got Brandon Cooks. You know, we got CeeDee Lamb. And, you know, we got Michael Gallup. We don't need nothing else. You know, we need a running back. Well, here's the thing that's kind of interesting when we go through the numbers here, okay? When the Packers won the Super Bowl, they had the number one scoring offense, third in yards, and 26 in running the football. 26. Here's the thing. Just, just look at the numbers here for a second, okay? Just take a look. They passed for almost 5,000 yards. They ran the ball about 1,558 yards. It was running by committee. And for those out there that say, you know, we got enough receivers. I want you to look. They got so many damn ads on everything. Take a look at the receiving core. And this is why I believe that we have not seen all, that, that, that we're, we're not done with getting wide receivers, okay? And I actually question and say, if you took away a couple of the receivers that Aaron Rodgers had that year and put Noah Browns in there, how successful would he have been? Honestly. Because you take a look at this, Aaron Rodgers threw for 4,643 4, yards. Even Matt Flynn uh, threw for 518, right? They had 51 touchdown passes. 51. Now, when you go down and you look at this, their leading running back was Ryan Grant, who had two TD rushing two rushing TDs 559 yards they also had James Stark 578 yards they averaged 4.2 4.3 yards per carry and then Aaron Rodgers 257 John Kuhn their fullback 78 and so on they didn't run the football they didn't but I want you to look at their receivers, okay? 
Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have this at full page view, widescreen view. Take a look at this. I w- I'm sorry, I wish I could get uh, damn ads. Shit. Damn, Google. Take a look at this. They had Randall Cobb, 375 yards. Okay. That was a young Randall Cobb, rookie. Jordy Nelson. You remember him? 1,263 yards. Greg Jennings, 949 yards. Jermichael Finley, 767 yards. James Jones, 635 yards. And Donald Driver, who was 36 years old, he had, like Michael Gallup numbers, 445. Do you see that? Do you see that? It wasn't having one or two receivers, or even three. You had four guys, four guys that basically four guys on that roster who caught more than our second best guy by far, by far. So looking at this, and you hear Mike McCarthy saying, I just want to run the damn ball, and we need to go ahead and get, you know, BJ, uh, uh, B. John Robinson. You kind of have to look at that and say, sorry, I'm going to cry bullshit because that's not the offense that you ran. That was throwing and throwing and throwing. And and here's the thing that, that I look at this, okay? Now, you can say that CeeDee Lamb is as good as anybody that was on that roster. But there is no receiver that was on our roster anywhere close to Donald Driver, to um, James Jones, to Greg Jennings, you know, Randall Cobb. You see all those receivers? So that's why you see the Cowboys still bringing in wide receivers and why DeAndre Hopkins, rumor doesn't die. You can best believe that Mike McCarthy is looking for more receivers. Like I said, we'll go into this more tonight uh, during our live stream, but uh, he is definitely, and I mean definitely, pulling our leg when it comes to um, wanting to just run the damn ball. Anyway, I'm going to be getting ready, and I will see you guys in a bit. Um, I have a video of Michael Irving that was... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Damn. Fucking wind. 